welcome back to a brand new episode of We Need to Talk. Um, today, we are chatting about um, makeup and confidence. Yes. Yes. Um, this is, I think, kind of like a cool topic because I think that there's a lot of narrative, I feel like, around like yes. women and makeup, like whether it's like friend or foe, I guess. People kind have of. so many opinions about this. About how you should feel about including makeup. Including us. Yeah, including yes. us, which is why we're here to talk about it. Well, so the reason why this topic became interesting to me, like, kind of recently, because I never really thought about it before, but A, I think it's interesting because I'm one of those people who tends to always find, I always think that my friends are so, like, I mean, obviously I think they're beautiful all the time, but I, every time I see my friends and they don't have any makeup on, I'm always like, oh my God, you look gorgeous. Mm. That is always when I think the people are the prettiest is like when they don't right. really have any makeup, which I think is funny because I don't feel, I don't really feel that way about myself. Right, which but is sad. Like, um, but you think about everyone else. Yeah, I mean, but it's totally fine. It's just like, I just kind of, I just think that people like are, I think it's really like, I think like natural glowy and all that is like so pretty. But anyway, recently I um, accidentally left my makeup bag at my friend Kristen's house and I was supposed to go to this concert with her and I was like getting dressed and I realized like, shoot, I left, (laughs) I left my makeup bag at Kristen's house. I have no, I literally had nothing. I'm not talking like I didn't have like a swipe of mascara. I, hate, I didn't have. Side note: I hate when people are like, "I left my makeup at home," but thank God I have. My, yeah. This second makeup yeah. kit. Who, who I don't have two? all that. Yeah, who I've got. Two? I have a very small pouch that has all of the essentials, and right. that's all I have. Mm-hmm. And so I left it at her house, and I couldn't get it. And so I went to this concert, and I was like. There, I'm not kidding. There's a moment that I was like, well, I can't go to the concert because I don't have my makeup bag. I literally I was would like, think that too. I was honestly like, well, I can't go because I don't have any makeup. Mm-hmm. I thought it was like, it was like the idea of like going into like public naked. I was like, <laughs> well, I can't go. I have no, no clothing to put on my body. Like that is like the equivalent right. in my mind initially. And then I was like, well, this is silly. So I went and like I actually found it extremely freeing. Once I was there, I was like, it's actually kind of amazing. I was like rubbing my eyes like a tired toddler and didn't have to worry about like my mascara like coming off or anything like that. And there was kind of, I don't know. Then once I did it, I actually had forgotten to get my makeup bag back from her for like several days. So I went like several days without really wearing any. I think I had went to the store and I got like a tinted moisturizer and mascara. But like for the most part, there were like several days when I just didn't wear any. Because after I broke the seal, I was like, oh shit, I can do this. So Abigail... Yes. Start us off. You were just telling me that um, you don't like the idea of people being like, you shouldn't have to feel, Correct. you shouldn't have to wear makeup to feel confident. Yes. Or whatever. So I would first like to start out by saying, if you do not wear makeup, great. More Good power you. to you. Like, great. Exactly. That is totally fine. However, I don't want you to shame me for loving wearing makeup. Mm. It, I don't think I don't see it as like I wore makeup and then I gained confidence and now I don't have to. Yeah. I think some people feel confident without makeup and some people feel confident with makeup and I am a makeup confident person. I like that. Are I you- <clears throat> started wearing makeup in seventh grade. Okay. I can remember the day my sister taught me how to apply eyeshadow. Oh my god. Yeah. It was green, <laughs> which in hindsight. You know, questionable. It was, yeah, it was 2006. Yeah, though, so all right, all right. Um, but I just feel like it has always been something to me that was like, this is a choice that I'm making. No one is making me wear makeup. Yeah, but I learned a long time ago. I've gotten pretty good at it, and I enjoy wearing it. We work from home a lot, and when I work from home, I never put makeup on. Yeah. Um, like you don't like need makeup just to like look at yourself in the mirror. Right. No. Yeah. However, but if you do, that's cool too. Yeah, that's totally no, fine. Zero judgment. Yeah. Seriously. But, um, like, if I am going, like, for a coffee with a friend or something, you, then, yeah, usually I will. Yeah. And that's usually just, like, a little foundation and then, like, a little, like... Mascara? I, no. Oh. I hate taking off mascara. And so <gasps> that's, that's like, my last thing. Last, <gasps> like... Mascara is, like, you're going all out? Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm shook. That is, <laughs> that is surprising. My most common is I have the Chrissy Teigen palette from Becca. Okay. Which, hi Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she, there's like this one shade that's like kind of a blush, kind of a highlighter, but also kind of a bronzer. Yeah. And that one I just kind of go, shh, shh. Yeah. 
And that's like shh, shh, the basics. Got it. Yeah. But if I'm like going all out, then I'll add eye makeup, which I know is the opposite for a lot of people. A lot of people do nothing else but eyes. I am the kind of person who like I will. I pretty much put on t- if I had if I were on a stranded on a desert island and I could have two makeup products. Ooh, love this. It would be like tinted, tinted moisturizer yeah. and mascara. Um, otherwise, I just feel like my eyes. You can't see them. You know. I I think that I have like <laughs> ah. You know what? This may have changed. <laughs> This might have changed. I'm actually now. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking maybe eyebrow powder now. Oh. Eyebrow pencil powder. Either one. Okay, so we yeah we are ready to hear from you guys. We want to know: Do you typically leave your house with a full face of makeup? Do you kind of like to go more natural? How? What's your routine? And how? Where? Where are you more comfortable? Right. Obviously, there is no right or wrong answer. There's no like you're right, you're wrong, whatever. Yeah. We want to hear, like, when did you start wearing makeup? Yeah. When do you feel like you got good at makeup? Yeah. When did you hit your stride? Yeah. But also, like, do you do you wear makeup at all now? Yeah. Again, no right or wrong answer. We just want to hear everything. Yeah, we're curious. So let us know in the comments below. In the meantime, you can check out theevergirl.com for more content, and we'll see you next week.